Good afternoon, and you are welcome to Comprehensive News for the Deaf. I am Sheyi Ogumbayo. The federal government is announcing the potentials in the manufacturing sector to create wealth, generate employment, and consolidate on the diversification of the economy. The Minister of Trade, Industry, and Investment, Doris Azuzoka Anite, was speaking during a working visit to Ogun State. Hakim Jimo reports that the minister was accompanied by top officers in the ministry and was received by Ogun State Governor Dapu Abiodun at the State Secretariat Okemoson Abeokuta, where issues bordering on how to consolidate on the diversification drive of the federal government top the agenda. For Governor Dapu Abiodun, the state government will not relent in the provision of needed policy framework and infrastructure for businesses to strive in the state. The minister and the entourage, as well as Governor Abiodun, inaugurated a newly constructed multinational company at Interchange along Abeokuta Shagamu Expressway. Public and private primary and secondary schools in Ogun State resumed for the second term 2023-2024 academic session. Winkosolo Jelade reports that academic activities have also begun in earnest. The welcome test is a first step towards assessing the mental abilities of the students, especially on what they learned in the last academic session while preparing them for the new term. Some of the teachers and students explained the importance of this test. Principals of some of the schools visited spoke on preparations towards smooth running of academic and in extracurricular activities. The schools that were visited had a good percentage of turnout of students. The efficacy of giving thanks to God Almighty at all times and in all situations can go a long way in paving way for Christians if they can hold on to that divine virtue. This came to the fore at the annual Thanksgiving service by El Shaddai Church, Ijeon Titun, Abelkuta, Ogun State. For journalists delivering on their mandate as members of the fourth estate of the realm requires courage and inspiration from God. This is why members of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NT Abelkuta Chapel, organized its first ever annual prayers where Reverend Mrs. Fola Chudume urged them to strive to maintain good relationship with God. Kemi Onusholu Sikiru reports that Reverend Fola Chudume says the professionals should seek out the truth and amplify, amplify it for the benefit of the society. Journalists must constantly yield to divine guidance. A fresh start often attracts a fresh impetus to enhance news operations in the new year. The management of NTA Abeokuta says welfare of staffers is a priority. Other stakeholders, including the chairman of NUJ in the state, want journalists to expand the frontiers of the profession in line with the tenets. The Chairman Senate Committee on Appropriation, Senator Olamile Konyayi, wants many Nigerians to keep hope alive as government is mapping out strategies for improved economic development. The Senator was speaking at a New Year party organized for his constituents at Ogun West Senatorial District of Ogun State. Ogun State Police Command has arrested a 43-year-old pastor Clinton John for defiling a 16-year-old girl at Giwa Agbado, Ogun State. A statement by the command spokesperson Omolola Odutola explains that the parents of the victim complained of treating the girl for recurring infections and observed the girl's frightful attitude, which made them suspicious. After a lot of persuasion, the girl confessed that one pastor, Clinton John, had been having unlawful carnal knowledge of her since November 2022 and threatened to kill her if she revealed their affair to anyone. Police says 
the suspects on interrogation confess to the crime and will be transferred to the State Criminal Investigation Department Ilewero, for investigation. The Supreme Court has reserved judgment on the appeal of the PDP challenging the re-election of Ogun State Governor Dakpo Abiodun. The PDP and its candidate as appellants are challenging Dakpo Abiodun's re-election on the ground that the Electoral Act 2022 was not adhered to, citing corrupt practices and issue of non-qualification in the conduct of the election. Counsel to the appellant Chris Uche say San alleged that Heineck ought to have conducted fresh elections in 99 polling units, 40,000 where elections were cancelled and not declared a winner. He said the return of the governor by Heineck was unlawful and the election was strongly concluded based on alleged corrupt practices. Abiodun Owonikoko, SAN, counsel for the first responding INEC, asked the APS court to dismiss the appeal. He maintained that governorship and presidential elections not determined only by margin of lead, but by spread of votes in accordance with Section 179 of the 1999 Constitution. Walio Lani Kwokun, SAN, counsel for second respondent, urged the APS court to dismiss the appeal which challenges concurrent decisions of the two lower courts. After hearing the parties, the APS court's five-man panel, shared by Justice John Okoro, reserved judgment to a later date. Eighteen years after a successful host of the 2006 National Sports Festival, Ogun State is set again for, to host the 2024 edition of the prestigious Fiesta later in the year. Lekon Agmode now gives us insight into the preparation of Ogun State to host the 22nd edition of Nigeria's version of Olympics, the National Sports Festival. Ogun State will welcome thousands of athletes, sports enthusiasts, administrators, and stakeholders from the 36 states and FCT later in December 2024. Since the hosting right was secured, Ogun State government set the ball rolling by putting machinery in motion to ensure that it surpasses its 2006 record of hosting. Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodu is determined to ensure that the state hosts a remarkable festival with the appointment of a seasoned sports administrator, Bukola Olokpade, as the chairman of the local organizing committee. Ogun State Government assures of its readiness to host a befitting festival yet again as preparation has commenced in earnest. On their part, athletes have commenced rigorous training to put themselves in shape to compete for medals and, brings glory, and bring glory to the state. In terms of infrastructure and facilities, the state is in better position she was in 2006 with four stadia across the four divisions of the state, improved road network and increased infrastructure for hospitality. Activities marking the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration in Ogun State has commenced with a special Jamaat service held at the Central Mosque Committee Abeokuta. Oye Consola Ojela Day reports that Officers and men of the Nigerian Army from the 35 Artillery Brigade Alamala Abeokuta and members of the Nigerian Legion joined other Islamic faithful of, to observe the special Jumat service. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration reminds Nigerians of the sacrifices of the war heroes who fought for the peace and tranquility be enjoyed in the country, while also reminding Nigerians of the need to embrace peace, and live in unity wherever they are in the country. Sermon delivered by Mufasir of Egbaland, Alaji Abdurrahman Amolegbe, centered on the peaceful coexistence, peace, and unity in the land. The cleric also advised Nigerians to take their social responsibilities more seriously to ensure a better society for all. Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodun, represented by his deputy, Noemo Salako Yedele, lauded the contributions of the nation's armed forces 
to sustainable development in the country and promised to continue to prioritize the welfare of the war legend, legends who are still alive in the state. On his part, Alaki of Egbaland, Obadi Dotun Aremugbadebo, commended Ogun State Government for various efforts at improving the lives of ex service men and that of the welfare of dependents of fallen heroes. Special prayers were thereafter offered for the peace and stability of Ogun State and Nigeria in general. And that concludes the comprehensive news for the day for this week. I am Sheyi Ogunbayo. Good night.